Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna do a short demo of how to use the Valgrind Memory Checker tool. So what I've got here is a stubbed out main function in a file called debuggingfun.cpp. So what I wanna do in this program is I want to create a memory leak and then show you a tool that you can use in order to detect memory leaks in your program. So first off, what is a memory leak? A memory leak is when you dynamically allocate memory in the heap area and you forget to deallocate it, okay? So if you're working in C++, this would be a use of the new keyword in order to dynamically allocate memory. And then you don't actually use the delete keyword in order to deallocate or free that memory. If you're working in C, this would be having say a malloc or calloc and then forgetting to have a free in order to release that memory. If you think about files, when we open a file and process a file, we always wanna close the file when we're done with it. That way we can free up the resources for other programs to use, right? In case another program wants to open that file. It's kind of the same thing with memory, right? When we're done with memory, we should deallocate it so it can go back into the pool of available memory that our program can use later. If we keep allocating and allocating and allocating and never deallocating, our program can greatly slow down to the point where it can actually crash because it goes to allocate more memory and the operating system doesn't have any more memory to give our program and then our program crashes. So memory leaks are really bad. So let's code up a little example here where I'm going to dynamically allocate memory. Let's start with just a simple integer. So I'm gonna have a pointer to int called int pointer and I'm gonna assign it the memory address on the heap used to store a single integer, okay? I'll dereference in PTR and assign to what it points to, say seven. I'll use seven by simply just printing it out. Okay, let's say down here, I'm done with what int PTR points to, but I forget to free it, okay? So this is a little memory leak right here. Not very big, not really gonna hurt anything. Four bytes, right? One integer that I've dynamically allocated and I have forgotten to free. So let's compile this. And when I compile it, I'm gonna compile it with the dash G or minus G flag, okay? So this option dash G right here tells G++ that I want it to compile this program using debug symbols or inserting debug symbols. That means that Extra information is gonna go into the executable so that other programs like the Valgrind memory checker tool or say the GDB debugger can figure out things like what line number each one of the compiled instructions is at in the original source code, right? Like it's line number six right here where I have a use of new that doesn't have a matching use of delete, okay? So line number six is where I have my essentially memory that's being leaked. All right, so dash G, debugging fun, and I'll run it, it's just gonna print out seven. There's seven right there. Now I'm gonna run the Valgrind tool in order to figure out does my code have a memory leak or not? We know it has a four byte memory leak, okay? But this is a really small, easy to infer example. Imagine like a much larger example, say one where you're dynamically allocating nodes as part of a linked list or a stack or a queue, right? Over time, you might have some bugs in your code where you are losing pointers to these nodes or this memory, and then you're having a memory leak and you may not realize it. So Valgrind will help you with that. All right, so here's how we run Valgrind. We type the command Valgrind, uh, then dash dash leak dash check equals yes, and then the command to execute our program. If you don't have Valgrind installed, then this will fail. Depending on your Linux distribution, you can install it using a package manager. Right now I'm running Lubuntu Linux, so I can run sudo apt install Valgrind in order to install it. All right, so you can see that Valgrind terminated, okay? So let's scroll up and take a look at the output here. All right, so it says heap summary in use at exit, four bytes in one block, okay? So it says four bytes in one block are definitely lost and it tells you where at. So this is the memory address 
of the compiled instruction when it's loaded into memory for execution, which doesn't tell us much, okay? But down here, it says, okay, here's the actual memory address for the line of code in main line number six that's causing this memory leak. So we see main debugging fun.cpp line number six. And sure enough, if we look at line number six, there's that use of new that doesn't have a matching delete. So it's actually telling us where we allocated the memory that's being leaked. All right, and then down here under leak summary, we're looking at um, these numbers right here. We want them to be zeros, but we've got definitely lost four bytes. Okay, we know that four bytes is coming from this new integer right here. So now let's see what happens if I make this into an array. Let's say I have 10 contiguously allocated integers in memory and int ptr points to the first one. Okay, so I've got 10 integers, 10 times four is 40. So if I save this, compile and run it, I'm gonna expect to see 40 bytes lost. And sure enough, there I do, I see 40 bytes lost. Now let's say I actually do free it. Okay, so I'm gonna do delete brackets because this is an array, int ptr, and then just for good practice, I'll set int ptr to null or null pointer. All right, I'll compile and run. And this is what it looks like when you don't have any memory leaks. So this is the goal, okay? It says heap summary in use at exit, zero bytes. All heap blocks were freed, no leaks are possible. So that's the goal. I hope you liked this little demo of Valgrind. Hopefully you'll run some of your other C++ programs through it and make sure that they don't have any memory leaks so that your code is robust. Thanks for watching.